youth all around the Houston area showing young men and women that they can overcome any situation. Please join us, please join us in welcoming Mr. Kendrick Thomas. was that I wanted to be an English teacher. 
I simply wanted to work with kids, and it probably was because of, uh, we got in four grade teachers in here, and that star, star test. So that's what makes me wanted to do, uh, to be an English teacher, because I would love to write, I would love to do things. But, could I be an English teacher at age nine? So then it was just my dream, right? So once I started with my dream, the next thing I had to do was believe that my dream could come true, okay? So she wants to be a professional soccer player. Is she gonna practice basketball every day? No. Is she gonna do practice football every day? No. So what is she gonna practice? Soccer. Soccer, right? Because she's saying, I believe, and I have a growth mindset that says, if I practice this every day, and I stay focused on what I'm doing, and I see myself being a professional soccer player, I'll stick with it. You understand that? Yeah. So what if he wants to be a firefighter? Will he go to school for a policeman? No. Will he go to school for nursing? No. He'll go to school to be a firefighter, correct? Yeah. So that's what it's about. Okay, next one. Now, after you have had your dream, you see yourself doing it, this is the biggest part of this entire speech, right? Because if you have a hundred dreams in your head and you do nothing about them, will something ever happen? No. Will you be successful? No. So then what are you supposed to do? Do, right? So you have to do something about it. So every day that you wake up, if you want to get good grades, every day you come to school, what do you have to do? Yeah. You got to listen to your teacher. You got to follow directions, correct? Everybody up here, once again, that was on those posters, Oprah Winfrey, Maya Angelou, they did something to be the people that they are. They didn't say, well, I want to be a poet, but I'll never write anything, right? Oprah Winfrey is a billionaire. She has a TV network. She couldn't say, I want to be a TV person, but never get behind the camera. So when you have dreams, boys and girls, it is important that you do something about them. Don't just let it be something in your head. Make sure that once you see it behind your eyes, you can see it in front of your eyes by doing something. Okay, next one. So, all right, I'll tell you a story real quick. In my school, we do something called callbacks, right? And so every time the teacher says waterfall, the students say, shh. Y'all did it before? Yeah. Okay, waterfall. Job. So now, the thing is, when the teachers first came back from their training and they knew that that would work, the entire day when I walked down the hall, all I heard was waterfall, shh, waterfall, shh. But they did that because it worked, right? So when you find something that worked, if you want to get good grades and you study and you make 100 on that test, that tells you, okay, I found what works. And then what do you do when you find something that works? What do you do? You must keep going with what you want to do. All right? So remember I said, you got to have a dream, right? You got to see that dream, believe that it's happening. And then once you see it in your head, put it in front of your eyes by actually doing something, okay? And once you do something, what do you do next? What do you do? Thank you. Come next, next one. Okay, so. Before I close it down, I want to go through it one more time. Boys and girls, you must have a dream. If you want to be a firefighter, a doctor, an art, a poet, a teacher, a principal, an astronaut, anything you want to do, it starts right here with your dream and it starts at this age. Okay, oh, waterfall. It does work. All right, okay. Okay, so the next thing you have to do you must believe that you can see that dream, believe that that dream can be accomplished, all right? Like I say, we're here today because a lot of people decided to believe that they can see their dream and the next thing they decided to do was do something about that dream. You have the opportunity to start right now doing something about your dream. When you get ready to go to college, when you look forward to the year, scholarships start right now. Do y'all understand that? Okay, I coach football, I tell my kids, grades equal money. So the more better grades that you get started now, you're practicing and seeing your dreams happen. And once you get in your later grades, they're going to go back to like seventh, eighth grade from there, and they're going to say, well, what did they do in school? And so then, 
when they see that you're stellar because you believe starting today that you can do something, they're going to say, we'll pay you to come to our school. Who wants a free school? Me. Okay. I like that. All right. <laughs> the last one is repeat. I'll say it again. Making sure that we're repeating those successful things. Waking up early in the morning, going home, doing your homework, staying focused in class, following directions, listening to the teachers. We are making sure that we're repeating those things because we want to be successful. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Okay, so let's one more. Okay, so it's your turn. What's the first one? Three. What's the second one? Three. What's the third? Three. What's the last? Three. One more time. What's the first? Three. Again. Three. Thank you.